for this welterweight fight. Lombard, a year older than Marquardt, who is the taller fighter and will have a three-inch reach advantage. With the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Holding a professional record, 32 wins, four losses, one draw, one no contest. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Matanzas, Cuba, Hector Lightning Lombard. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, holding a professional record, 35 wins, 12 losses, two draws. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the former Strike Force welterweight champion, Nate the Great Marquardt. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jay Staffen. Jay Staffen, our referee for this welterweight fight. Chrissy Blair here tonight with the beautiful Ariani, our entire crew, Mike okay. Goldberg, Joe Rogan, You're great ready. to be with you. you ready? The Ultimate Fighting Championship back in Houston. Hector Lombard, the Southpaw, the Cuban in the black trunks, he, he, the great in the white trunks. There's two questions. One, can Nate Marquardt deal with the speed and power of Hector Lombard? And two, the weight cut. Does the weight cut take a guy like Hector Lombard who's already had endurance problems and accentuate those problems or does he have better endurance because he cleaned his diet up and focused more on cardio to get down to 170. And Nate has always trained at elevation in fact with the elevation fight team now his home in Denver. Yeah that right that right hook of Lombard is a dangerous weapon the speed in which he can deliver his punches and close distance can be quite frightening, as can be the case for Nate Marquardt. Marquardt has some highlight reel knockouts of his own. So far, Marquardt is doing a good job of avoiding the explosive power of Lombard. Looking to land shots. Marquardt with that. Uh-oh, there's the one you talked about, Joe. Marquardt yeah. with that quick knockout of Damian Maya. Good years right back. hand. Nice. Good. Oh. oh. Lombard connected a couple of times yeah, there, but did. so did Nate. Nate with the elevation fight team also spent some time at Jackson's in Albuquerque. American top team for Hector Lombard. Right hand, the right hand over the top hurt yep. Nate. And again. There's and a left that hurt him, a right hand hurt him bad. Lombard. He's done. He's Trying done. to finish it right here. It is all over. Hector Lombard has knocked out Nate Marquardt. That's the scary Hector Lombard that everyone at 170 pounds that has got to be worried about. mean dude. He's a terrifying guy. He, he, Nate shouldn't have gotten up there. I mean, Hector tried to pick him up to be kind, but Nate is badly hurt right now. He needs to sit down. Man, the suddenness. Let's take a look at that again. The right hand there hurt him really badly. You see his leg give out. He starts moving. He hooks with the right, lands this left and then swarms him. That big right hurt him. There's a left that hurt him. His leg completely gave out. And the fight essentially here is already over. Big hammer fist. And the referee rescued him from, from any further damage. See it here again. There's the left. Right hand over the top. His legs give out. Left hand. He goes down. Hammer fist. He's out cold. And there's the left under the arm there. And Nate is out cold. 19th career win by knockout. Man, it was lightning fast tonight. And here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jay Staffen has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by knockout, Hector Lightning Lombard.